All right, good morning. Today is the best morning I've had thus far in Punta Cana for a couple different reasons. Number one, this is the best morning weather-wise I've ever seen in Punta Cana. Take a look at this, not a cloud in the sky. Just a slight little breeze coming through just to keep the temperature a little cooler. Uh, not a kid in the pool, not one kid. So things are nice and tranquil down there. Wayne, who is a member of the community, invented the SK meter, AKA the Screaming Kids meter. Wayne, there were a few in there earlier, only momentarily. I'd say the SK meter was a three. Now it's a perfect zero, not a kid in the pool. And you might say, James, children are our future. Why do you hate children? I don't hate children. I'm a benevolent, open-minded person. I'm just not so sure that children are our future. Maybe longevity, living longer is our future. I think Mars might be our future. I'm not so sure that children are our future. So anyway, this is only the second non-adult only uh, hotel I've stayed at. All the other ones have been adult only. Uh, Hard Rock was not uh, adult only, which I found interesting. And then this one is not adult only. Marriott is a very inclusive uh, type of brand, so I can see why this one was not uh, adult only. So I've talked about hitting my stride a few times throughout this trip and I thought I hit my stride, but sometimes you don't know what you don't know. And this is the best I've ever felt physically and mentally on this trip, which is a little unfortunate. In fact, I'm kind of saddened about that. You might say, James, why are you saddened about feeling great on this trip? Well, it's like day 24, 23, 22. I'm definitely deep into my 20s and uh, I'm, all, I'm just finally feeling okay. Um, I was a lot more run down when I came here than I knew. Uh, I just didn't really know it because some, sometimes you don't know what you don't know, like I said. And then I definitely went off the deep end a few times here in Punta Cana. Self-inflicted, I did it on my own volition, not complaining about it, but I'm now kind of saddened about it. I mean, I really needed to practice balance. And I don't know why I did it because I practiced balance in Vegas a lot, but I think that Punta Cana was new to me. I should have applied and practiced the same principles in Vegas uh, in Punta Cana, but everything was just so fresh, it's tropical, it's fun, great crowd, and I think I let some of the uh, moment and some of the uh, experience get to me. But here I am, uh, it's my first full day here at Royalton, which is now part of the Marriott ecosystem. I'm in my honeymoon suite. I can't believe they upgraded me to a honeymoon suite. I mean, take a look at this view. It is unbelievable. Beachfront right there, private beach only for Diamond Club members, which I get access to because I have Marriott Cloud. Only Diamond Club uh, members can get in this pool down here. It's much different than the swim up pool at uh, Bahia Prince of P Luxury Ambar. That swim up pool was janky. That swim up pool was not classy. This is a swim up pool where you still have some privacy, not a lot of people outside your door. It's large, it goes around the entire building. It's very moat style. This is how you do it, Bahia Prince of P Luxury Ambar, so, so take notes. I wanted to do something, I need to find some good light. Uh, I poured myself this uh, extra aged rum this morning and I just poured it basically over um, the cinnamon stick in here. I thought it was cool how they give you the pre-made cinnamon sticks uh, at the mini bar. I thought that was really neat. So they give you a uh, lime and then they give you the pre-made cinnamon stick in there, right? And you just pour the rum in there. So I wanna test it and see what it's like. Here's what the bottle looks like. This is a uh, Bruegel Extra Viejo, a Bruegel Extra Viejo. I always love when rums have the netting over it. It just makes it feel like it's very uh, aquatic, right? Because I guess that's how the rum used to be delivered. It used to be delivered on ships. So I like that. Um, I think I should take it right out of the bottle. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I love when you get a good rum and it's like kerosene. Not that I know what drinking kerosene is like, not really lately, but sometimes it's like rocket fuel. It tastes really sweet and also really good. This is a dang good rum. So I haven't had a uh, Roman Coke or Roman Coke for a really long time. I'm gonna see what that is like. And I have a backup plan just in case it isn't good enough or sugary enough or tasteful enough. I'm gonna add in a packet of Splenda. This is like a life hack right here. But I think I might be onto something. Just adding a little bit of sugar to the Roman Coke. I mean, it doesn't get much more tropical than that, right? Just adding a packet of sugar to basically any drink. Oh, uh, kind of got a little foamy there. That actually made it taste more terrible. I just ruined this drink. 
All right, good morning. This is like deja vu. It's about the same time as I checked in yesterday. I'm pretty much wearing the exact same thing, although today I classed it up. I put on a robe. Robe Life has re-entered the channel again. I like these multi-material robes. What is this, twill? Is this twill on the outside and then terry cloth on the inside? I like that. Uh, I feel fantastic. I had a tremendous sleep last night. I slept like nine or 10 hours. I've been sleeping a lot lately. Obviously, it's my body uh, repairing itself, which is great. And by the way, sleep is the new superpower. Sleep is the new drug. And if you think about it, it's true. Like, when does your body repair itself? And when does your body go through uh, neurogenesis and neuroregenesis? It is during your sleep. And uh, actually, a lot of athletes have figured this out. LeBron James sleeps 12 hours a day. Roger Federer sleeps 12 hours a day. Uh, the late, great Kobe Bryant slept 12 hours a day. A lot of our top minds are now sleeping 12 hours a day. It's to be completely on top of your game. I mean, when your body is relaxed and repaired and rejuvenated, it's at its best. So I'm a big proponent of sleep. Unfortunately, it cuts down on your productivity. What would you rather do? Would you rather be productive and age faster and not really have a lot of mental acuity? Or would you rather live longer, be happier, look better, and sleep? I'm going with the latter. All right, so let's get into this video. I have some Mama Wana here. How many of you have ever heard of Mama Wana? I have never heard of Mama Wana. I'm always on the lookout for interesting drinks and uh, cool craft cocktails and spirits from around the world. And whenever you go to a different part of the world, you're gonna find some indigenous cocktails, some native cocktails, some innate cocktails that are local uh, to the region. And this Mama Wana is something that never heard of before and I've never experienced before this is pretty crazy this is like an alcohol aphrodisiac they were drinking this like crazy at uh, Hotel Rue Republica that place was off the chain probably partly due to this the people on the island swear by it all the tourists swear by it they were drinking this thing by the gallon full and this is about 80 80 proof a little under 80 proof it's like um, I think technically it's like 76 or 75 proof um, and I saw people just, it's all they were drinking was this. And they were raging, they were having a good time. It is uh, rum, mostly rum, it's rum based, with a little bit of red wine, honey, and then they put these twigs in there. Um, and then these twigs, if you can see these twigs, that apparently gives it like the aphrodisiac and like some flavor and stuff. And it tastes just like that. It tastes like drinking rum, wine, honey, and twigs. That's exactly what it tastes like. It's not like those ingredients come together and synergistically make like a different flavor. No, it's like drinking uh, twigs and honey and rum and wine. It actually just kind of tastes like a sweet and sour kind of like purple drink. And I know that purple isn't a flavor, purple's a color, but you know what kind of purple tastes like. It kind of tastes like a, like a grape or like a berry. It's kind of like a sweet and sour, woodsy, earthy, berry drink is what it tastes like. You definitely can taste the wine in it and the rum and the honey and the twigs. So this is pretty much everywhere. There's three different kinds of it. You can get it um, not ready to drink where you have to like let it cure or process or whatever by itself. That's kind of dangerous. I would never recommend buying that unless you really know what you're doing. Um, then you can buy it ready to drink and then you can buy it ready to drink filtered. And I think filtered doesn't have like the twigs and stuff in it. I like having the twigs and stuff in there uh, just for basically show and for presentation. But I must say, the best I've tasted was processed and filtered. That was the best tasting one I had. This is a little outdoorsy, it's a little woodsy, uh, it's a little earthy if you're not used to it. Um, they drink it by the truckload here, it, it must work. People wouldn't drink it the way they do and consume it the way they do if it doesn't work. It doesn't make you feel bad, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, it makes you feel pretty good. And since I've never seen it back in America, I bought myself the Rude Boy. <laughs> I bought myself the Rude Boy, right? So this is uh, 2,800 milliliters, and this should last me a while, like a weekend probably. <laughs> Joking. Um, yeah, and I don't, I don't even know if I'm gonna open this up, frankly. I got the little one in case, you know, anyone comes over and pour a shot and have some fun, have a story, tell them about Mama Juana, since it's definitely a fun story. Uh, but I was like, you know what? I don't know the next time I'm going to be back in Putacana. And this is a very, very intriguing alcohol, a very, very intriguing spirit. Uh, I'm going to buy the Rude Boy. So I definitely bought this. And you can see the purple color there. Okay. 
um, and you can see the twigs in this thing. Personally, I think this is a bit of a ripoff. I don't think there should be that many twigs in here. I think I did get ripped off because they say 2800 milliliters, but I don't know if that's by liquid volume. I think that's just the volume of the bottle because uh, it seems like there's almost a huge amount of twigs in here, like too many twigs. So in retrospect, in hindsight, I wish I would have bought maybe the processed and the filtered. I don't know, there's no going back now. I did buy a 40 year old aged rum. I don't know how I feel about that either. Uh, I don't know what a 40 year old aged rum is gonna taste like. Uh, it's a Don Rome, and I, I looked up Don Rome, and it didn't really have the best reviews online, but those reviews were in the Czech Republic. I don't even know if you get Don Rome in the United States. I've never looked. I'm not a huge rum guy. I love rum. Uh, I'm usually a Jamaican rum guy. I'm not usually a Dominican rum guy. Um, and I haven't really paid attention because usually I'm mixing my rum. But I have bought some nice bottles of rum in the past, and rum is a pretty inexpensive liquor. I'd say... A good bottle you get a good bottle of rum for maybe 30 40 50 dollars i mean at least in the liquor store rums are maxing out at 40 50 bucks it's hard to find a rum in a liquor store that's over 50 dollars uh, so i don't really have a lot of experience in high-end rums but i do know when they get to be on the upper echelon they taste like sweet lighter fluid <laughs> not that i know what lighter fluid tastes like i'm not really drinking lighter fluid but you know what i mean like that gasoline just that fire just that you know that i don't know hot flavor that you get just tastes like alcohol it tastes like alcohol and basically uh a little bit of sweetness to it i need to work on my alcohol descriptors but you know what i mean so this is a 40 year old rum so for those of you that know what a tom and jerry is i assume most of you do not because it's a drink that's basically very very regional specific to like north dakota south dakota minnesota and wisconsin i've mentioned it to a ton of people in my life and I'd say 1% know what it is and those 1% are from the Midwest but it puts eggnog to shame. Eggnog I think is terrible but if you like eggnog I introduced to you a Tom and Jerry it will change your life it will reshape what you think a Christmas drink could be it'll reshape what you think a drink will be overall um, it's basically like pure sugar okay it's like 500 calories maybe even more and it's like Eggs, powdered sugar. This is what the batter is made of. It's a batter drink. Uh, it's like eggs, powdered sugar, um, just pure sweetness, right? I mean, just think of like frosting. It's basically like frosting. You put a huge dollop in a in a cup in a mug, and then you do uh, like a half shot or full shot, depending on how blitzed you want to get. Blitzing do you want to get? Do you do a half shot or full shot rum? Half shot, full shot brandy, and then you put. Um, really hot like scalding water over it which melts like the frosting and mixes the uh, rum and the brandy it's delicious this rum is probably too good like usually in high-end liquors like this or any any high-end liquor you don't mix them it's kind of taboo it's a major faux pas but I really don't care I usually mix high-end liquors because uh, I don't really like the taste of alcohol to be honest with you I mean you wouldn't think that by looking at me and by knowing the channel but for those of you that really know me, um, I just like the beauty and the artistic nature and the mixology and the craft of cocktails. Uh, the taste and the effects aren't really for me. Spoiler if you didn't know that. All right, so anyway, 14 days left. Uh, I'm looking to have the best time possible. I think I have maybe the three best hotels remaining. I'm gonna get to my day. I just wanna show you what this, uh, this Mama Juana looks like. Let me know if you have any experience with it. Drop a comment below. I want to hear about it.